space. They're in the straight now and inside the two. Kodiak Spec still in front from Bad News Bear. Making ground between horses is what is Stay the Night. And these are being followed by You Mummy Is with Spies Don't Talk. Racing now towards the final furlong. And Stay the Night on the near side. In the colours of Moidler Stud Farm. Pick it up from Kodiak Spec and Bad News Bear third. Racing now with 50 yards left to go. And it's Stay the Night and Pat Smullen drawing on to win by an easy three. Second is Bad News Bear. Third Kodiak Spec and they're followed home by You Mummy Is. Spies Don't Talk, racing now towards the final furlong and Stay the Night on the near side. In the colours of Moidler Stud Farm, pick it up from Kodiak Spec and Bad News Bear third, racing now with 50 yards left to go and it's Stay the Night and Pat Smullen drawing on to win by an easy three. Second is Bad News Bear. Third Kodiak Spec and they're followed home by You Mummy Is. Rory Cleary and then La Bella Rose and Ellen Park and Ishman and Ihawa Boy and these go clear from White Park Wells. On straightening up now and in over two furlongs to go and in front is Sobroto in the visor with coming to challenge Toscanelli on the outside in the dark blue jacket. A bit of a break then to La Bella Rose with Inish Man running on late as they begin now to race to the final furlong and Toscanelli hits the front from Sobroto then Inish Man on the outside doing good work at the closing stages then La Bella Rose but it's Toscanelli in front stretching on now three lengths clear running up towards the finish in the second of the evening the seven furlong maiden it's a win for Toscanelli beats Sobroto third is Inish Man fourth La Bella Rose on the inside oh, as they begin now to race to the final furlong and Toscanelli hits the front from Sobroto then Inish Man on the outside doing good work at the closing stages then La Bella Rose but it's Toscanelli in front stretching on now three lengths clear running up towards the finish in the second of the evening the seven furlong maiden it's a win for Toscanelli beats Sobroto third is Inish Man fourth La Bella Rose on the inside of oh, Almada with them in fourth place, Connor King, and they're followed by Dunard Prince, fleet captain and Knights Templar. Well grouped as they come round the home turn now. Two and a half furlongs to race, and as they straighten up, it's in Sanutum the leader from Avalanche in second. And these are followed by Almada, Postilian, Dunard Prince trying to come with a run between horses, fleet captain, and down the outside, Knights Templar beginning a good run now. Racing down towards the final furlong, in Sanutum and the Diamonds on the rail. Knights Templar on the near side, the top weight coming to challenge. Dunard Prince in between horses and then Avalanche racing up towards the finish now in Sanutum. Connor on the near side by Knights Templar but it's going to be very tight, it is! In salute him on the inside! Racing down towards the final furlong, in salute him and the diamonds on the rail, Knights Templar on the near side, the top weight coming to challenge, Dunard Prince in between horses and then Avalanche, racing up towards the finish now, in salute him, Connor on the near side by Knights Templar, but it's going to be very tight, it is! In salute him on the inside of Knights Templar, Dunard Prince, fleet captain and Avalanche, and they're clear. on the outside of Count of Carabas as they swing into the straight. Two furlongs to go now and as they race up the straight the leader is Togoville out a couple of lengths clear from Indigo Iris Hatton Cross in the centre of the track beginning to make ground. Count of Carabas is followed by Fugitive Motel. Now they reach the furlong pole and it's Togoville the leader from Hatton Cross on the near side. Count of Carabas in between them. Mal is running on towards the outside. Togoville just in front from Hatton Cross closing with every stride in between them count of Carabas on the inside of Hatton Cross Hatton Cross in the centre of the track beginning to make ground count of Carabas is followed by Fugitive Motel now they reach the furlong pole and it's Togoville the leader from Hatton Cross on the near side count of Carabas in between them Mal is running on towards the outside Togoville just in front from Hatton Cross closing with every stride in between them count of Carabas on the inside of Hatton Cross close run finish one for the judge Togoville next with now. Again, Cap Joy is now ridden along in fourth place. And this leading quartet go away from the other two, Ajira Cass, and step away. So off the home turn, and Blameless has joined one out from the rail by just as well. Travelling up smoothly, in the sheepskin noseband is Red Raven. Cab Joy on the near side, racing down out of the final furling and a half. 
Red Raven hits the front now from Cab Joy on the near side. These two go on from just as well and blameless inside the final furlong. And Red Raven and Chris Hayes with Cab Joy on the near side and Connor Hoban laying down a potent challenge now. They're locked together, 50 yards to go. Cab Joy on the near side, just forging on. Cab Joy on the near side of Red Raven. Cab Joy on the near side, racing down now to the final furlong and a half. Red Raven hits the front now from Cab Joy on the near side. These two go on from just as well and blameless inside the final furlong. And Red Raven and Chris Hayes with Cab Joy on the near side and Connor Hoban laying down a potent challenge now. They're locked together, 50 yards to go. Cab Joy on the near side, just forging on. Cab Joy on the near side of Red Raven. Racing past the three and swinging into the straight. And Fairy Court has come back to Calanetto on the outside of Master Melody in the noseband third. Bob Skier, four and five on the inside. Duke of Dance as they race outside the two. Fairy Court the leader. Racing now with a furling and a half to go on the 6th of the July. All-American race day, Apprentice Handicap. And still in the lead is Fairy Court from Bob Skier. Enough is enough coming home towards the outside. Marijan from the back is also beginning a challenge as they race inside the last 200 yards. And it's Bob Skier and Luke Dempsey who pick it up from Marijan. Enough is enough. And then awakening Fairy Court. Blue Ridge Lane on the outside finishing strongly. But it's Bob Skier who'll win it. Bob Skier beats Marijan. And then enough is enough from Blue Ridge Lane. Enough is enough coming home towards the outside outside. Marijan from the back is also beginning a challenge as they race inside the last 200 yards and it's Bob Skier and Luke Dempsey who pick it up from Marijan. Enough is enough and then awakening Fairy Court. Blue Ridge Lane on the outside finishing strongly but it's Bob Skier who'll win it. Bob Skier beats Marijan and then enough is enough and Blue Ridge Lane with a gap to Fairy Court and then Duke of Dance. to swing into the straight. Three furlongs to go in the last, the Derek Ryan 24th of July qualified riders race. So off the bend, Murad with joining issue on the outside, Marchese Marconi, Gusty Rocky just in behind them, and then Firefighter racing now inside the two, and Marchese Marconi and Sarah O'Brien lead for the first time of the race. Now in hot pursuit between horses, Gusty Rocky and Katie Wodge. Murad is now third on the inside, David Mullins, beginning the run towards the final 150 yards, and in the centre of the track, it's Marchese Marconi from on the rail is Gusty Rocky but Marchese Marconi has the advantage firefighter running on well but Marchese Marconi is entitled to win this after successive seconds Morad is now third on the inside David Mullins beginning the run towards the final 150 yards and in the centre of the track it's Marchese Marconi from on the rail is Gusty Rocky but Marchese Marconi has the advantage firefighter running on well but Marchese Marconi is entitled to win this after successive seconds firefighter on the near side of Gusty Rocky, they're cleared of Morad past the Hatton Goche.